Opening statements are expected in, to begin in the federal hate crimes trial of the three men who killed Ahmaud Arbery. The jury is expected to be seated today. After days of questioning, prosecutors are trying to prove that Ahmaud Arbery was murdered because of his race. Travis McMichael, his father Greg McMichael, and their neighbor William Roddy Bryan have all been convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison. All three face a maximum life sentence if found guilty in this federal trial. Today, the ACLU of Georgia is planning to speak out after a final hearing on a lawsuit aimed at blocking new redistricting maps in Georgia. The group is fighting newly drawn district lines in Georgia's General Assembly. It says it's a violation of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. A father and his girlfriend are charged in connection with the abduction of his 18-month-old son. Cameron Clark and Malaysia Haynes called investigators and agreed to return to Cherokee County. Investigators believe they were taking the boy to Haynes' home in Minnesota. Police say the legal guardian was not concerned about the child's safety and the boy was returned home safe and healthy. You could be off the hook if you got a ticket in East Point. Today, the municipal court's going to begin its ticket amnesty program. It lasts until Monday, May 9th. Fees from failure to appear in court will be, will be waived. You've got to submit an online application, though, on the city of East Point's website to qualify. Firefighters are trying to figure out what caused flames to spark inside a townhome in southwest Atlanta. It broke out just before 9 on Peyton Place. Crews say heavy flames were coming from the second floor. Firefighters rescued an elderly woman. She was not hurt.